Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Tripolar, T-R-I-P-O-L-A-R, -R, and welcome back to a brand new episode here on my vlog channel. I told you guys it was coming, so thank you to all of you who have just subscribed or have been subscribed. I told you guys that we're going to be putting out more videos on this channel every Wednesday, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Today is Friday. I couldn't get the fan mail done, but I am going to do a reaction for you guys uh, since we haven't done a reaction in a long time. So today, we're going to be reacting to a song that I made called the Super Mario Disc Track featuring the Gooperlings official mu music video. It is the one I released at 100,000 thousand subscribers when I hit that in around June last year so it was a very big like momentous occasion I just hit a hundred thousand subscribers I wanted to do something very very cool I used to make these diss tracks or different songs like that obviously you guys know like the Bushy Bunny song stuff like that so I decided to make a Super Mario diss track uh, and diss some of the people in my crew who may or may not even still be here but we're gonna go through it we're gonna I'm gonna basically react to the song I haven't listened to it in a long time and I'm gonna break it down um sort of like what the lyrics mean and everything like that so guys if you do enjoy smash that like button down below subscribe to the channel if you are new here and you have not seen it already it would actually mean a lot to me uh if you guys could do that uh but yeah without further ado we're gonna jump right into this reaction video um I can't wait if you guys want to see more content on this channel uh, let me know what you want to see down below more reactions if you want me to react to certain videos what do you want to see behind the scenes fan mail stuff like that let me know guys it means a lot to me uh but yeah we're gonna get right into this so let's switch over cameras and uh, now i'm like in the little camera and what we're gonna do is we're gonna react to this song break it down lyric by lyric and uh yeah so hopefully you guys like it all right so let's get started all right that i found online a hundred thousand subscribers there's been a lot of haters along the way so here's a message to all of them. Oh yeah. This track part two. Okay, so part one, you could go back. It was like the beginning of my channel. It's one of the first videos I actually posted before I like not posted. I deleted all my other old videos, and I just have like this is one of the first ones. I made this track against Nitro Luke when he hits two hundred thousand. Yeah, two hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah. So uh, this is like part two to the disc track. Eight months ago, I was just a little boy sitting at 3K. Call me Nitro Luke's toy. So I, the whole part. So sitting at 3K, call me Nitro Luke's toy. Uh, I was sidekick scrappy at this time. I wasn't even tripolar. I had 3,000 subscribers. Um, basically, because Luke gave me a shout out on his channel. I used to be in Nitro Luke DX series. He does Fortnite now. Doesn't do Minecraft anymore. But he's a series I know a lot of you guys know called SMA Survival Madness Adventures. I was the character sidekick scrappy. We came up with it, and I helped Luke, Luke out a lot, and Luke helped me out a lot. We still have a friendship to this day. Uh, so I like to mess around. Um, so Nitro Luke's toy, meaning like I was his builder at the time, like I. And stuff like that um but yeah tired of the same old let's try something new thinking what if i did mario content on the wii u so all right so that like all right so let's uh tired of messing around let's try some oh tired of the same old let's try something new uh let's do mario content on the wii u whatever i just said um I actually got kicked from Luke's crew. Me and Luke used to fight a whole lot. We were like very like leaderish people. Like we both like to lead. So me being in this crew, like we would both have conflicting ideas about what he should do with his channel, which I mean, it was his channel at the time, but I, I would get mad at things he would do. Uh, so I ended up uh, getting kicked out. Um, and that's when I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to delete Psychic Scrappy. That's in the past. I came up with the name Tripolar. This was like the beginning of Tripolar. And I started doing uh, Mario Minecraft because I loved Mario. And when I came out, I'm like, this would be a great opportunity to make a series um so i started doing that uh and uh let's listen let's keep listening started messing around and who freaking knew i would whip the competition through and through luke had no problem dropping me on the fly but as soon as i started blowing up he called me on the dime so that is like a little shade to uh, luke again again it's just like banter it's just fun um when luke got kicked that's when i blew up like, I became tripolar, left the sidekick scrap, deleted all my videos, started doing Mario Minecraft, and, like, blew up. Like, my channel, like, blew up all, like, Super Mario Series uh, Episode 1 started going crazy. That's when tripolar, like, officially was started for Mario Minecraft content. Uh, and that's when Luke, when I started to blow up, Luke called me back and asked for me to come back. So, Luke... Uh, what I said was, Luke uh, called me on the dime. When, as soon as I started blowing up, he called me on the dime. Meaning, like, as soon as I started getting big, he's like, oh, wait, I want this kid back in my crew. It's just a little bit of a joke we have, but, uh, yeah. Too bad I had no time for overworld. Your content's so trash, it's making me hurl. Now I get... Okay, um, so... <laughs> so, then that part, um... Too bad I had no time for Overworld. Like the Grouplings, Luke's crew was called Overworld. I don't know if it still is. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is, but it's just like Fortnite now. Uh, so like his, my Grouplings was his Overworld. That's like the comparison. So I had no time for Overworld. I was doing my own thing. Um, 
and then your content's so trash it's making me hurl. What I'm about to, hold up. You're doing great, just wave in your hands, but stop with the click and get some real freaking fans. Okay, so what that's about, waving your hands. He used to do the realistic Minecraft, which you guys know is a lot of this in front of a camera, and it's just, I did it too, I mean, it was hypocritical, because, you know, that's what was popping off at the time. I did, like, three episodes, I'm like, this is dumb. But Luke did that for, like, so long, and I thought it was pretty trash that he was doing that. I like the old uh, Survival Madness. I mean, good for him. He got big off of it. Luke's a great guy, obviously. Um, but yeah, when he was doing this, waving your hand, stop with the clickbait, get some real freaking fans, that was a that was a little shade to Luke right there. But, again, it was all banter. This, is, this whole thing is banter like no one i actually checked with each person to, like make sure i could diss them in the diss track and they're, they're fine with it like i think we're about to do dane next so now dane tyler don't think i forgot about you copy my content and sml's too one little comment puts you in a rage deleted your entire gaming channel page all right so <laughs> Um, so Dane was always, like, this was obviously a diss, but I felt like Dane was, like, copying, like, my Mario content on his gaming channel, and game was, Dane was kicked out at this point, I don't even think he was in the crew, but we were, like, friends, um, and he was, like, copying, like, a lot of the things I was doing, so I was getting, like, not mad, but I was, like, like, what the heck, bro, like, you're kind of copying, like, he had a crew, like, the wing, wing cappers, I forget what they were even called, it's the power-up crew or something like that, and, uh, I would, like, make fun of them all, the, not make fun of them, but, like, poke fun at them all the time that they were, like, copies, so that's what that's about, and then, um, <coughs> actually, I forgot what I said, uh, oh, copying my content, SMLs, too, obviously, everyone says that, uh, everyone, basically, if you do any Mario thing that's a role play, you're copying SML somehow. Uh, so that was just a little fun that we did. Um, one little comment put you in a rage to be deleted your entire gaming channel page was a diss because I commented on his um, thing. I commented on his thing saying he was copying me, and he got really mad and just deleted his whole YouTube channel um, with gaming. So that's that's where that came from. Buying others art just to make friends. I should call you Keemstar because the drama never ends. All right, so that line, buying other art just to make friends, I should call you Keemstar because the drama never ends. Luke used to, um, not Luke, Dane used to cause a lot of drama in the crew. He knows it, I know it, so that's why the whole Keemstar thing, oh, that was a funny line. And buying other art, Dane used to buy, like, everyone art. I don't know why. He'd buy, like, um, you know, Nick and all them, Joe, Emeraldo, all them art, which obviously is a very nice thing to do, but I was just poking fun at him, so, uh. Look at my boy Bear Gooch for the things he didn't do, but look at him now, and where the heck are you? So, at that point, that line, uh, blame him away Verduch, obviously Verducci, you guys know him in the crew. Dane was, like, blaming, uh, Nick for, like, causing drama, I knew Nick wasn't causing the drama. Um, and then look at him now, and where the heck are you? N Nick, this was, like, when Nick, like, and Meepers started to become, like, the captains of the crew. Like, they, like, were running everything. Uh, so that is, like, where that was coming from. Like, Nick was, like, up and high mighty, and Dane's, like, nowhere to be found, because he was starting the drama. So, yeah, that's where it came from. Can't keep up with all of your base while I'm running all these errands. Show out to YK! Alright, I'm not gonna actually explain that because it's a little, like, it's a little personal. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that. I'm just gonna leave that as it is. Uh, but yeah, shout out to YK. The previous member. That's all I'm gonna say. He knows what it means. Why can't knows what it means? It's very this is over. I'm done with you. Write my raps down and maybe you can get a clue. Hold up. I got something I can do. Okay. I'm gonna sit here and roast my whole entire crew. Nick Joe, we're like no show. Kids barely here. Try to get them on. It takes a year. So uh, this is where I'm gonna go through and roast the whole crew. Obviously, Nick Joe's no longer with us, but like. He would like, I would tell Nick Joe to like get on or like uh, ask him to come on and he'd be like, yeah, I'm coming. And then he like wouldn't come forever. So he was like barely here anymore. That's probably why he ended up getting like removed because I can't have people that like aren't here a lot. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the Nick Joe one. And there's Gucci. I'd like to say, hey, he's a traitor and a hater and copies everything I say. Okay, so at that point, uh, I don't remember the traitor and a hater. Um, that's obviously, like, just a joke. But Nick used to, cop like, used to, when he was first in, he used to agree with me for everything and, like, copy exactly what I would do. It was, like, very, very, I mean, it was flattering, obviously. Imitation is the best form of flattery. But it was just funny. We still mess around with him to this day. Obviously, he's grown up and out of it. Um, but, yeah, that's the that's the Verducci part. And Corbin, I'm gonna send you walking. Wait, yo, guys, is Corbin in the call or just not talking? So, Corbin, obviously no longer with us, but he was with us for a long time. Very quiet kid, like, barely spoke. Only, like, at the end he started speaking. So, like, we, I would, like, have to ask, like, guys, is Corbin in the call? Like, I 
he's not talking. So that's like the whole joke. Like, hey, yo guys, is Corbin in the call or just not talking? Because he like wouldn't even be there. So that's because of his so-called friend Neepers brought him in, but I didn't know that he was a keeper too. Oh wait, I think there's bad. He's just a little bully. That's a joke, but this guy looks looks like Sully. Okay, so that part I actually kind of messed up. I didn't feel like fixing it. Like that that line was like didn't really make a lot of sense. Um, uh, his so-called friend Meepers, Meepers and Corbin are actually friends in real life. If you guys didn't know that they go to the same school. They're actually like real life friends. Uh, so that's why. Um, and Cor uh, Meepers used to like joke since they were like friends in real life like meepers would always like make fun of corbin and whatever so that's like the whole bully part but meepers was a keeper so that's a good thing because he's still around and then the sully part i don't know what that guy was thinking i can't even explain it we're just gonna skip over it. hold up look in the sky it's a bird it's a plane no it's just my guy emeraldo on his stupid elytra keep flying that thing and i'm gonna kick ya hey so Emeraldo doesn't do this anymore, but he used to. When the Elite just first came out, he was obsessed with them and would always just fly around, and I would get so annoyed. I'm like, Emeraldo, we are recording. Like, please come down here and stop. So that's the whole joke of Emeraldo flying around in the sky, and he was, like, obsessed with the Elytra. So thank God that whole phase is over because that was so annoying. Hey, guys, it's time to record. Hype. You know Joseph's going to turn up on Skype. But it's time to build, and where did he go? Working on Benjamin videos. That's a no-no. So Joseph used to um, always come on for recording. Obviously, Joseph on the crew. He would always come on for recording, but then when we would build after, he would just dip. So, like, skipping out on, like, the actual work part of it. And, uh, because he would go record, he used to do these videos called Benjamin, and it was, like, with a puppet. So, that was, like, a dig at him, like, yo, you're working, like, <laughs> you show up to record the fun part, and then you don't build, like, it was just a little dig at Joe. Obviously, I love Joe now, so, no. And there's Jackalope, he's childish, never knew someone could have a penguin fetish, quack, quack. So, Jackalope's obviously not in the crew anymore, hasn't been in a long time, but, or actually, I think he was just in the crew, and we, had, we removed him again. But uh, he used to be obsessed with the Gunter skin from the uh, Adventure Time. So that's like where the penguin fetish thing comes from because he was like in love with the skin. Finally, it's what y'all came to see. I'm a hat to rose my main man, Bushy. But she thinks he's cool because he makes all my maps. But when it comes to social skills, he better take a lap. They okay, so Bushy, like... <laughs> Bushy, I, the, my favorite line is coming up. So Bushy was like a very, like, he was sort of quiet too. Um, and he like wouldn't talk a lot. Or like when you try to talk to him about something, it'd be like very awkward. So that's like the whole social skills type of thing. But this is my favorite line in the whole song. Call me tripolar means three personalities. Better than being stuck with your one. That's a tragedy. Yo, that line I was so proud of. So obviously tripolar, bipolar is two personalities, tripolar three personalities. I've explained this before why my name means what it means. Uh, and then I said... Ch call me tripolar means three personalities better being better than being stuck with your one that's a like his one personality that's a tragedy that was like such a dig uh at him so it was pretty funny there goes my crew had to roast them like i do but i gotta take time oh, in this song to thank, thank all of you shout to all of y'all who've been here since cma CMA was my first ever series uh, when I was sidekick Scrappy. It was Comedy Mayhem Adventures. It lasted about 50 episodes, which is like so small now, considering Nintendo Fun S is almost like 300. Super Mario series almost a 300. So, but it was big back then, like 50 episodes. That was like big. So, Comedy Mayhem Adventures. Shout out to all of y'all who've been here since CMA. Rest in peace, to Scrappy, but Mario stepped in his way. I love that line too. Rest in peace to Scrappy, but Mario stepped in his way. Meaning, rest in peace to Psychic Scrappy. You know, you're dead. Sorry that Mario stepped in your way. Because as soon as Mario started to hop off, I completely like switched my content. And that's when CMA was lost. Uh, so Scrappy was dead. Mario got in his way. And uh, yeah, we're still riding him to uh, to this day though. I'm thankful for all 100,000 of you. Not to mention the OJDM Gaming crew. So before I was Psychic Scrappy, I had a less known channel. I was on like 150 subs when I found Luke. And it was called the DM Gang Gaming. Um, it was a group of my friends. I played with them before. Uh, Devil's Guy, I played with him uh, on, uh, you know, um, Fortnite. It was in a Fortnite episode once. The Saving the Princess, he's like really good at the game. Uh, those are my real life friends. The DM Gaming crew was my real life friends. We started YouTube uh, 
I, I, we wanted to start YouTube together and then, uh, sort of like, they didn't really like really want to do it. I was like the one who like would record everything, blah, blah, blah. So that's when I like broke off, became psychic scrappy and all that stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, the DM game gaming crew, we used to go in my basement every week, play games. I'll do a full story on it. If you guys want to see it. let me know if you want to know the story of the DM game gaming crew of how I started YouTube. Let me know in the comment section below, but shout out to the DM game gaming crew. I'm actually seeing them tonight. Shout out to you boys. Let's go. All right. Anyway, uh, let's go. <laughs> all right. Keep going. 100k guys we finally made it this goes without saying but it's lit next up you already know is one mil then i'll have my face on the hundred dollar bill haters or appreciators i love you all i'm so blessed so that's a wrap y'all thank you everyone for a hundred thousand subscribers this right here is only the beginning Leave a like for another diss track Comment down below your favorite part Go check out the merch link in the description And subscribe so we can hit that one mil as quickly as possible Thank you guys, I love you tryhards now get this channel to 10k. Alright guys, that is going to do it uh, for this reaction. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Uh, this song was awesome. Let me know if you want me to make more diss tracks in the comment section below. What do you want me to react to next? Uh, let me know as well. This was a lot of fun. I actually miss doing diss tracks. Like, it was... They're they're bad. They're like, they're bad. Like, it, I literally just took a loop on YouTube, went into Audacity and rapped over it. Rapped over it. They're bad, I know, but it was just fun to do. It was like, you guys liked it. Uh, let me know if you want to react to like the Bushy song. Uh, I don't remember what, I don't even know if I had any other songs, but the Bushy song is one that I was going to do, and then I found this one. I'm like, oh, we'll do this. Um, so let me guys know, guys. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Let's get this channel to 10,000 subscribers, guys. That is the goal. So, without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. See you next time. <gasps> Whoop.